There are many things you can buy with $100, but generally speaking, firearms are not one of them. Um, unless you're getting a used gun, you know, military surplus stuff, most of the guns, some, sometimes old uh, Enfields or something, you might be able to find cheap. But to buy a brand new gun out of a store for $100, pretty much unheard of. Well, that is until this came along. Uh, this is the Dominion Arms 12 gauge backpacker shotgun. And this thing uh, is normally $150, but every once in a while, CanadaAmmo.com will have it on sale for $100 plus tax. And, you know, if you buy it with other stuff and get $200 worth of things, they'll ship it to you for free. Um, so, I mean, $100 for a gun, brand new, that's quite a deal. Uh, it's very easy to put together, just like with most break action shotguns. There's a little lever on the bottom here. You take that off, and your end comes off and then with this hammer which is the release the break for the barrel you push that down out comes the barrel there's all your pieces uh, you know that's pretty easy stuff when it comes to uh, putting together and taking apart a gun and uh, very easy to do voila back together just like that uh, I showed you a little bit the break action which is right here there is one little downside to this gun which is the hammer and the hammer for the break are right beside each other this close so if you're not paying attention sometimes you'll pull one when you're trying to pull the other if you're looking down at a target or something and you want to release the barrel you may hit the hammer or vice versa so positioning not perfect but you know uh, if you're looking it is certainly right within handy reach you don't have to move your hand or anything after you fire you know your thumb sits right there so it is handy for for uh, if you know where it is just be careful you're not pulling the wrong lever the gun functions well for a cheap little hundred dollar gun I haven't had any problems no misfires no jams uh, it'll shoot pretty much any ammo you can throw at it it says the bore is chambered up to three inch uh, so you can shoot two and three quarter or three inch uh, you know and we shot slugs bird shot buckshot, target shot, all of it, no problems. Takes everything, spits it out, uh, you know, they don't get stuck. It's it's really, really good as far as the functioning and the shooting. Basically, all you have to shoot off is this little gold dot down at the end. It's not much to look at, but if you line it up off the barrel, I found I could pretty much hit whatever I was shooting at. But, uh, you know, the sights are nothing special, that's for sure. The fit and finish is your general Norinco quality finish. It's, uh, it's pretty good, it's got this wood, which is far from spectacular, but keep in mind we're talking price point here, $100, okay? It is actual wood. Um, it does have some checkering on the grips here, which is pretty nice and does give you a little bit of something to hold on to. The fore end, uh, I found, I don't know if you can hear that, listen close. Right, when I, when I first got the gun, that fore end was on there, just as tight as could be, uh, but I found after shooting about, I don't know, 30, 40 rounds through it, this was starting to come loose and rattle a little, little bit. It's not so loose that the whole thing moves, but you can just tell, you know, it's not on there 100%. My stock does have this tiny hairline crack in it, which wasn't there when I first got the gun. Mind you, I've actually probably no more than 50 or 60 rounds through this thing, uh, if that. So it hasn't taken much for the force of a big 12 gauge to start cracking this wood whatever it is. Down underneath the gun here we have just your you know run-of-the-mill trigger. It's certainly nothing special. Uh, it does have this nice rubber butt plate on the end which is really good when you're shooting a heavy load in a very small gun because this thing does pack a lot of punch I'll tell you that. Firing it with one hand is no joke. It, it really does have a lot of kick and you better hang on tight if you're gonna try to do the he-man thing and shoot it off with one arm. So a nice rubber butt. Um, it is the same one that is on my Norinco NS522 and I think they do share a lot of the same components between a lot of their guns. If you haven't seen the NS522, it's an amazing little 22 long rifle. Click on this link here and check it out. You will really, really like it. It is probably one of the best uh, Norinco guns I've bought yet. Uh, but that doesn't take away from this thing. I am going to recommend this. It is a fun little gun and if you can pick it up while it's on sale for a hundred bucks, get one. Uh, it's fun. Add it to your collection. Uh, 
you know, it does have its little downsides, but there's always a little give and take with the Dominion Arms Norenko stuff. It's a price premium type thing, you know. Uh, if you want to save money, you can get the more economical shotguns and firearms, uh, but you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take a little hit in the quality and the build a little bit. The action, the moving parts of the gun work very well, and that is the most important thing, is when you buy a gun, you want it to do what it's supposed to every time you pull that trigger. And I haven't had one misstep yet. So I find that to be one of the most important things, which is probably why I continue to buy the Dominion Arms and Rinko stuff. Even with the minute finish details and stuff sometimes, generally they're awesome working guns. And, you know, I shoot a lot, so I like shooting cheaply. I like owning a lot of different guns, and this brand helps me do that at an astounding rate.